Back in business. Alright. So, I thought I'd take this opportunity to talk about my uh, Leatherman Wave. Um, yeah, man. As far as multi tools go, um, this is the only one I've owned. I own. I've owned quite a few. Um, and this is the one that has made the grade. I've probably had this for two years now. Um, the job I have, I work in a warehouse type situation and uh, I easily use this every day um, if not every day ten times in a day I, I, I use it a lot it's hold up extremely well um, I don't know how well you're gonna be able to see that or anything or if it'll focus or not anyways it's 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 held up very well um, there are a couple of things that have worn out on it yeah, I've used that blade a lot. It's all, it's all in very good shape. I doubt that was even in the frame. Um, so, let's see here. Saw on this works very good. I'm trying to see if I can find anything negative about it. Uh, there are a couple of things that I've broken on this. The uh, scissors handle broke off not long after I had it. Um, I've never gotten it fixed. I know I can probably order another one. Uh, I would send it in possibly to try and get warranty work on it, but quite frankly, I would have to own another one. I just don't know that I could go that long without it. Um, another thing that's worn out a decent amount is the Phillips head bit on this. Now, granted, I've had this thing for a couple of years, and I have beat it to crap. Um, and it has well held up. Um, the, the flathead tip is torqued out a couple of times, but bent right back into shape. Um, other than that, they, I, it's wonderful. Uh, Alright, so let's go look at the tools here. Um, this is a can opener. Um, I've used it a couple times. It's okay. It's not as good as a Victorian Ox. It's just not as sharp. Um, but it definitely works. Uh, works just fine. Um, the screwdriver and bit works good. This does come with the kit. Um, as you can see, the little one, I, I doubt you can see it, but it's all torqued out. Um, and I've used, uh, maybe not every one of these, but I've used just about all of these. Um, the Allen heads, square, you know, the, the, they're sheared off sides. Um, they work fine. Um, you know, these multi-tools are never going to be as good as the, just the tool. But for what it is, it works out great. Um, so anyway, so there we go. Bottle opener, screwdriver. Um, Scissors that I broke, or that are broken. Um, a very small screwdriver, which for me, somebody that wears glasses all the time, comes in very handy. I've used it quite a few times just for that purpose. Um, if I can get to this guy. A pretty big flathead screwdriver, probably more of a pry bar than anything else, and I've certainly used for that, and it works fine. Um, this wave does have the locking back. Um, that works great. I like it a lot. I've never had it fail. Um, the lockouts on all the blades work good. Um, I am starting to get a little wobble. I could tighten these up, but uh, quite frankly the star bit that I would need is probably right there. And uh, therefore I can't use it on this because I need that. Um, but it's, it's not bad. And it doesn't bother me because 
I use that knife quite a bit, but not all that often. Nothing, nothing real detailed. Um, everything is still nice and tight. Um, I've lubricated this a couple of times. Keep it, keep it fairly clean. And uh, nothing's ever failed. Um, the saw on this does work very well. Um, I've been real happy with that. I, I've sawed plenty of limbs with that. And, uh, and then the chisel, or the file, I guess, per se, it works nice too. Um, I've used this to sharpen my crampons quite a bit. And, uh, and it still doesn't really show any signs of wear. Um, I have made a minor modification to my belt. Uh, the two belts I typically wear aren't super wide. Um, this is a very wide loop and it just was moving around too much. This is just some Gorilla Tape around there. Um, I have started recently getting some fraying. I, I think that was partially to do with the fact that it was moving around so much. I think this will help that. Um, this case is held up nice. Um, I probably will get one pretty soon. I'm waiting to get another flashlight. When I get my next flashlight, I'll, I'll probably get a case with a flashlight holder on the side. Um, but all in all, it's held up fine. So there you go. Leatherman Wave. Um, in the grand scheme of tools, I can't imagine a better benchmark one. Um, nothing fancy said. A lot of people have said it. Um, for me, you know, price-wise, which I've heard, I think these might even run around seventy-five or eighty dollars. People have said to me lately. I think I, I paid a hundred for mine, definitely. Um, certainly worth every bit of a hundred dollars. If you could get this for seventy-five dollars, yeah, get that. Anyways, there you go. Um, Leatherman Wave. You know, there you go. I, I've already gotten my use in for it today. Um, so there you go, Leatherman Wave. Thanks a lot, guys. Uh, get outdoors and make your own food.